Hi, it's Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a really, really quick video on the setup of this agenda. It is the Louis Vuitton Damier in the PM size. I say really quick video because I really don't have much going on in here. In my other channel where I showcase my Midori Traveler's notebooks and th stuff like that, I used to use this as my everyday carry where I would have my monthly calendar. I have a zip pouch in there. Um, so I used to carry this to keep track of my, I guess, appointments. I don't have a lot going on in my life. I'm just, uh, I don't work, so I just uh, keep my monthly appointments and in, in, in stuff in there. Um, but I moved from here into here, and so I thought I would show you. And so you will see in here there is a monthly calendar where I keep track of my appointments, as well as just some little things with regards to the Etsy shop that, a small little Etsy shop that I have. So let's get started. The pen that I'm using is the Tombow P-Fit pen that I got in my mustache stationery kit uh, two months ago. It's just perfect size for it and I love the fact that it has a huge clip that I can just easily clip on. I was looking for a smaller pen to fit in this small tiny pen loop but you know I want to use things that I have, I don't want to spend money on buying another stationary pen. I have too many things anyway so it's working fine for me. Sometimes it skips which can get quite annoying especially when you're trying to write something down and it's skipping but I'm not going to, you know, it is what it is. I have it so I will use it until I run out of ink. So open, opening it up I just have some wash tape samples. I I have a lot of these samples that I forget to use so I'm putting it in pockets where I can see them so that I use them. So I have some wash tape samples in there. There's nothing in the pocket back here. I suppose I could put some note paper or um, maybe some project life card to kind of straighten this part out. And then here is just a laminated card that says you are the light of the light which is really really pretty and then on the back are just some post-it notes um, you know it's really nice and handy to have you can just write down things that you need and then and in the beginning I printed these pocket size to-do lists and I just maybe the my printing was kind of off but the sizing wasn't matching and I had to cut it off and um, anyways I didn't like it so I switched out to the happy scrappy note paper that was included in this month's kit and it's perfect sizing for the pocket size agenda so I use this as my to-dos, I use the hearts as my like checkbox and it's so cute because they're also double sided so it's really nice to use so I have that for my to-do list uh, this is just another laminated card that says only do what your heart tells you and that's by Princess Diana I'm going to have this tab um, this one I'm mainly going to write uh, pen pal addresses and things because I go to the post office and there was several times where I forgot the address or I was missing some information <laughs> and it would have been nice to have on handy so I have this section there my next section is contacts and it's blank now but I will most likely put some emergency contact information uh, in here and this is the main tab I go to often this is where I keep my stamps and yeah, just keep my stamps. And there I just have a Pan Am sticker as well that I want to use but I'm not too sure. I have a tutorial on this folder. I I like to put the stamps in these types of folders. Like I could put it in here but then once you're down to one stamp it's kind of hard to, like you can see my fingers are not long enough, it's kind of hard to reach down to get the stamp. So that's why I made this uh, DIY. It's really really easy folder where you can open it up and get the stamp from the bottom and I, I I didn't know what to name it so I just put a heart there because I always go to this quite often so I made this as a heart as I refer to this part often and uh, I didn't know what to call it so I just put a heart there and I put the blank page paper right on the back so if I open it up I can quickly go to the heart section and then write something down if I wanted to write like a long note um, as opposed to this. This is more like, you know, things that I need to pick up or uh, big reminders because um, it's nice and bright. But this is more like just notes. 
I could also put my notes in here as well. These are this is more of like a brain dump section. Um, yeah, so I have some notes in here too. So this here is my Filofax page flag and it goes directly to my week on one page view and I got these from Daiso, which is perfect. Um, that's all I really need. I, I usually write down the orders that I sent out and just really, really simple things. And then for my appointments, I keep them on a month on two page view. So this is the month on two page view. I have the gold paper mark to match with the gold hardware. Like I said, I don't have much going on so uh, this is just perfect for me, nice and small and easy to carry. And then I have this zip pouch which is from the brand called Ashford. I just have some band-aids, this page flag there, this Hobonichi stencil which is awesome. I should use a lot more often but I always forget that I have. I use this often for the, uh, I don't know if you can see, it might be a little bit hard to see but these to-do tick boxes I like to use. Um, this stencil for that. It has inches on one side and centimeters on the other side. Then I just have more um, post-it notes there. I like this Ashford one because it has a zip pouch and then it has a small little pocket right in the front there where you can slide really thin things like this stencil. And I also purchased from Ashford this credit card holder. I haven't stuck anything in there because I was going to film so I don't want to put in much in there but I can put my I hold six I believe so six credit cards and then this top loading pocket where I have some information contact information and some blank sheets of paper no pen loop for the back so that was a really really quick setup it's working for me it's been working for over a month now so I'm going to continue with it as is I was bothered by these you know curling edges and I still get bothered by it, but to be honest, it's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, somebody recommended to, you know, keep using it and it will eventually kind of straighten itself out. Maybe if I put something harder in these pockets here, like a harder plastic, it might help as well. So that was my really quick setup of the agenda. It's portable, nice and small, easy to carry. It's sturdy and I'm really, really enjoying it so far and I really hope to continue to use it. I might move out of um, this physical one and move into my pocket Filofax in the next maybe couple months, but yeah, here it is. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all your support. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.